Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. In our previous video, we talked about the history and the advantages of C. In this video, before we get into our main course, I will show you a basic C program so that you will get an idea of how the C program is written. So let's begin. So this is the basic program that I have written for you guys so that you can understand before going into our main course that how C program works. Here, as you can see, I have written first line, main, and then empty parenthesis. So this main you are seeing here, this main is a special function which marks the beginning of the program, which tells the compiler that this is the start of the program. So now every program must have at least one main function in it. But note that if you use more than one main function inside your program, then compiler will get confused which one is the start of the program. So don't use more than one main function in your program. Now, after this, after the main function, you can see this, this empty parenthesis tells us that the main function doesn't have any arguments or any parameters in it. Now on the second line, as you can see, I have written this curly braces, this opening curly braces tells the compiler that this is the start of this main function. So this is the start of the main function and this is the closing curly braces that marks that this is the end of the function. But in this case, this curly braces marks the end of the program because we have not written anything after it. Now this opening and closing curly braces marks the function body. Now inside this curly braces, whatever we write becomes the function body. So this is the main function. This is a function main and this is the function body. And as you can see here that inside this function body, we have three statements written. So these statements are called the instructions of the function body, which are used to perform a certain given task. So on my first statement, as you can see, this is called the comment line. So as you can see, the comment line starts with the forward slash and star. So whatever you write inside the forward slash and star and then ending with star and forward slash, whatever you write inside this will become a comment. So comment is a non executable statement. So whatever you write inside this will become a comment so that any other user or any other programmer, they will get to know what is the use of this particular function body. What is the use of this main function? These comments are non-executable, therefore these lines are ignored by the compiler. Now let's move on to the printf function. So this printf function is a predefined standard function which is used for printing output. So this is our output. As you can see, hello world will be our output. Now predefined means this printf was written and compiled and is linked to our program at the time of linking. Now note that this printf function is ending with the semicolon. So this semicolon is very important. Whenever we end our statement in C, we write a semicolon at the end of it. This is also a comment and this is also a comment and this is our printf statement, which is the only executable statement in our program. So now when I run it, you can see hello world has been printed. This hello world. So this is all about the sample program that I wanted to tell you before getting into our course. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it, then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts, then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also, like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.